Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. So nice to see you here. Welcome to the call. Um, we are going to start in one more minute officially, but I just want to say welcome to everybody as people are joining. I am Julie. Lovely to see you today. I am just going to mute the line just so that we have a clean recording and we'll get started. So welcome everyone to the Brain Over Binge info session, a Q&A with me, Coach Julie. I'm happy to talk to you about all things Brain Over Binge group coaching and individual coaching if you have questions about that. So I'm so happy you're here. And um, even as people are joining, I want to get right to it. So it would be wonderful if you can just... Um, either raise your Zoom hands or you can type question in the chat and I will call on you. Um, or you can type your question in the chat. So three ways to ask your questions and I am all yours. So who's got questions about group coaching, private coaching, brain over binge? What you got for me today? And yeah, I hear somebody unmuted. Does somebody have a question? Anybody want to start? Hi, Leslie. My pleasure. My pleasure. I'm very happy to do it. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. So again, I'm Julie, and I'm, I'm here to answer all your questions about group coaching, about one-on-one -on -one coaching for Brain Over Binge. I'll just say while I'm waiting for somebody, oh, Christelle, it looks like you unmuted. Do you have a question? Go yeah. right ahead. Yes. Um, so I guess it's for private coaching. I am diabetic and it's kind of a new thing. I, this happened like last year sometime and there's a roller coaster of, you know, going too low and having to eat, eat more food to compensate. And then, um, and then just kind of this roller coaster I'm riding and, and it, it did spark a whole new, uh, food insecurity and this okay roster. yeah so it just sparked a whole so tell me what your quite what's your question like you um, you're wondering if if I can help you in private coaching is that the question yeah I, I guess that absolutely and, or even if other people have are having this issue also and if that would absolutely I mean there are plenty of people that I work with who have health conditions where they have a and and a lot of people where they've got a new health condition that's altered the way that they're eating and they're having yeah. sometimes anger around it sometimes feelings of scarcity and lack and I'm very good at helping with that so absolutely and I myself have my own unique way of eating because of my own health condition so I have all of that experience to boot so Right. Um, yeah, yeah. So for sure, for sure. What I'm, and I guess uh -huh. what it would look like to start that process. Yeah. So you, I just put a link in the chat. So brainoverbinge.com forward slash one dash on one coaching. The link is right there. Um, everything is right there. You basically look at my calendar, you book an appointment, you pay for the session and we, we get right to it. I have lots of openings now because it's summer. So my calendar is quite open. So you can just take a look at my calendar and pick a time that looks good for you and we can get started. Happy to. Um, okay. Maureen, I see that your hand is raised, but, um, I just want to make sure that I finished it. Christelle, is that good? Does that does that answer all your questions? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, Maureen, go ahead. Hi, Julie. Thanks for doing this. Hi, of lady. course. My pleasure. Um, I, just a, a little tiny brief synopsis. I had a really bad eating disorder as a teenager, anorexia followed by bulimia. Had about 30 years of pretty healthy, normal life. The pandemic came up and I found myself resorting back to food for comfort a lot and emotionally mm -hmm. um, comforting myself with sugary goodness a lot and a lot of overeating and mm -hmm. feel like it was kind of 
I feel like I was backsliding quite a bit into some of my old coping. And I'm uh -huh. just kind of wondering for people who are more or less in long-term recovery, but having setbacks, I, I'm totally it's part of the process. Nothing's gone wrong, Maureen. You are always spiraling up just a learning moment. I promise you that. Just don't tell yourself. I don't even call it a setback. I had a learning moment. I ate some extra food. That's it. I promise you. I have so many people in that situation. The biggest issue is what you're telling yourself in your mind about it. I, I promise you that. Okay. I promise you that. It, it feels like a couple of years, not not a night, but I, I do understand what you're saying. I guess what I was curious about is kind of the milieu of your groups, if there's varying degrees of recovery. Totally. Yep. I don't really feel like acute issues are my thing anymore. I feel like I'm kind of wise. I just don't always respond the way I'd like. I mean, yep. you know, what great I mean. question. So, Such a so great just, question. I'm just curious about what you think about the ranges of where we're at and how that fits yep. into the group setting. What I will say is that the group is super diverse. People are at all ages and stages of recovery. However, what is very unique is that everybody is very forward focused. It's a very positive and loving and safe space. And I'm constantly helping people redirect their thinking so that you're not repatterning things that you don't want to repattern. So, so for example, in the example that you gave, it's totally normal to slip back into habits when you have a new context that comes along, like a pandemic, right? And then, but what happens is people will freak out when that happens. And then that starts rewiring what you don't want. And then you're doing it to soothe from the freak out. And then it becomes automatic. And then it's like, oh, I must be broken. And you're not broken and nothing's wrong. And I always say, you're always spiraling up. Okay. And you've never lost anything. I promise you that Maureen. So like a million percent, you're solid, everything, all of your solid recovery is still with you. And it's just about retweaking and re-remembering everything you know. Thanks like we're so just much. clearing off that neural pathway a little bit. That's all. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Let's see. I saw a question Yulia asked, could you tell how the actual group meetings work? And somebody else asked if there was a chat outside of group coaching. Oh, okay. I, that, that's something else. Okay. So, um, so uh, the group, we meet every Sunday. So tomorrow, for example, at 10 a.m. Eastern. And oops, mute. if you're not muted, please mute. Um, so we meet every Sunday on Zoom like this at 10 a.m. Eastern. Um, if you can't be there live, no big deal. Lots of people can't be there live. Everything is recorded. I am pinned, so nobody's camera is in the video. And um, every recording, once you join the group, like for example, if you join today, you get access to all prior recordings. I always do a short lesson on a variety of different topics like stages of change or being imperfect or using, uh, finding ways to cope without using food, different lessons. So I always do a lesson and then there's coaching. That happens on Sundays. Then there is a forum for the group. It is not Facebook. It is for just the group. And it's got a section for members to communicate with each other and then a section to get written coaching from me. And that's available to you 24 seven. And I am very responsive. I respond to people super quickly. Um, you also get access to Catherine's audio course for the Brain Over Binge Recovery Guide. And you get all of my guided meditations and you get all of that immediately. So that's how the group works. Um, and how many people are on a group call. It depends, Kelly, every week, a different amount, a different number of people come. There's usually like 20, 25 people. It varies each week. Um, so there's that. Uh, let's see, I would love to join the group, but I can't afford it. Okay, well, so when you can, it's always there for you. And until then you get, you can always access all the free resources like the podcast and the newsletter and, and also, Catherine's monthly Instagram, and I'm going to be doing this every month. So just take advantage of all of those resources. Margaret said, do you send a reminder on Sunday before the session? Yes, absolutely. You get reminders a day before, you get it an hour before, you get tons of reminders. Absolutely. Brooke said, follow-up email support in one-on-one -on -one coaching. Yes. So Brooke, what that means is that 
You can email me the week after you've had the coaching with me, anything that comes up, any questions that arise, any tweaks that you might need. If you have a learning moment, whatever it is, if you want to celebrate with me, because it's so important to celebrate, that's what that means. Um, Mona, are the groups interactive or more lecture style? Interactive. So again, it's like people, um, uh, people are interacting in the chat the whole time, but also um, people, the, the first half, I, we do wins, then I do a little lesson, and then it's coaching time. So people ask questions, and I do coaching, and we go back and forth, and that's the way that it works. And then also on the forum, there's a lot of interaction. Um, how many people are in the group calls? Does everyone get coached during each call? So no, not everyone gets coached during each call because there isn't time for that. And also not everybody wants coaching during each call. However, it is very rare that I don't get to everyone who wants coaching. I am very mindful of time and I make sure that everybody who wants coaching gets coaching. Um, and what often happens, what's wonderful is that when you aren't getting coaching, usually the questions that are asked are things that you've experienced or you hear things in a new way. So it's always beneficial. Um, my background and qualifications. Yes, so I am a certified life coach through the Life Food School. I am also a positive neuroplasticity teacher through Rick Hansen. I am also a certified mindfulness educator through Mindful Schools. I've also been a teacher for the last 30 years. Um, and I was a social worker before that, and I have a background in nutrition from before that. So there you go. Uh, Linda, do you have a core group of people in group coaching is a different group from week to week? It's generally a core group that comes all the time, and then, but there are new people joining all the time, and also sometimes people can't make it, sometimes people can make it, so it's a little different each time. How many men have been in my groups? I would say that there are four or five men each round, you know, like each week, there are about four or five. Linda, hi, if you have time, could you address my question? I, I you know about bright lines and that's easier to do something 100% than 99, but with disorders, you don't want to restrict. I find it's really against the bright lines. I struggle with that. I have a lot, you know, Linda, what I say is that you're going to find your formula. So if you love eating in the bright line way and you love it and it loves you back and you're sated and it's truly adequate for you, it can work. If you're doing it in a slightly less perfectionistic way, because there's nothing perfect. Even, even the woman who designed bright lines isn't perfect all the time from what I understand. I mean, you know, so, so there is that it's learning to figure out what you love that loves you back and then making it your own. So for example, it would be the Linda Brightline way or something along those lines. So we, it, we talk about that. So it can work. It's just, it, it, as long as it's not super perfectionistic, let me know if that answers you. How many people usually on the calls about 2025? 20, is there a satisfaction guarantee? Uh, there is not, but you, it's month to month. So if you don't want to stay, you can always cancel at the end of a month. Um, Amanda, if you do private coaching, do you also get access to the group chat? No. The private coaching is one thing, the group is one thing, they're separate. Um, and is there accountability available through the platform? There isn't accountability, but, but what I will say is that there, the forum is interactive and if you wanna post there for your own accountability, you could post as many times as you like and people respond. And there are a lot of people who use the forum for accountability. Um, is there a health at every size emphasis? There is not a health at every size emphasis per se, although I talk a lot about body image, body image, loving the body you're in, loving yourself all the way through. And so I do a lot of work around body image for sure, Maureen, it's very important. What helped me in my recovery, Linda asked? Well, giving up restriction, giving up being perfect, finally, and loving myself all the way through, dressing for the body that I was in, all of those things, all of the things that I have sort of been mentioning here. Um, so that was big. And, and, and also trusting that it was that everything that I had done wasn't a waste, that, that all the things I had tried actually brought me to this moment. It wasn't one specific thing, but many things. Um, is the price of group coaching individual? All of the price, the costs are on the two websites that I shared. Um, so group coaching is one fifty nine a month, um, and that includes the recovery, the 
uh, that includes a subscription to Catherine's audio course. Um, if you already have the audio course, then you pay a slightly lower fee. Um, let's see. What's so hard, Linda? Loving yourself? No, loving yourself is way easier than beating yourself up. I promise you that. I promise, promise, promise. Not restricting is so much easier than restricting. Loving yourself, feeling good now, being imperfect. It's life. It's, I promise you it's so much easier than what you've been doing. I promise. Do you offer the availability, the ability to listen to a session before committing to the group? No, I'm sorry. The, it, there's no, you can't listen in. Um, doesn't work that way. Uh, do you still have slip ups, get back on track routine? Oh, Christelle, there is no track. <laughs> I, as I say, there are only learning moments. I don't binge anymore ever. Do I ever overeat? Yeah, sometimes I eat too much, but it's just a learning moment. I don't even think about it. It's just food and I move on. So it's, it's, it's very, I take it very lightly, if that makes sense. Um, but I also, I emphasize this over and over again. There's no track, there's no train, there's no wagon, there's no spiral, there's no vortex, there's no ditch. You're not on track or off track. It's just food, a learning moment, winning or learning, what went well, what didn't go well, what will I do differently? And then you keep moving forward every time, every time. Uh, Linda said, trusting the process is hard after abiding by all the disordered thinking rules. You know what, Linda? It's only hard if you tell yourself it's actually so freeing. I promise you that. It's really hard to live by rigid rules and try to be perfect. That's really, really, really hard. And once, once you, it's uncomfortable. I call it productive discomfort. It's uncomfortable changing patterns but it's the best kind of discomfort because it gives you everything you want on the other side. I promise you that. Mariam, listen, I promise you today, one day at a time, one urge at a time, one moment at a time and stop repeating over and over again, I'm broken, I can't do it, all of that. It's just one adequate meal at a time and then woohoo, I did it. And then celebrate that and then try again and then celebrate that and then try again because it doesn't matter how long it's been going on. What matters is today, right now. What can you do today? And what you can do today is eat adequately expect and allow urges in between and then celebrate every single step really really and you're here on this call so go you go everyone here like everybody give yourself a high five you're here on this call so clearly clearly you want to feel better that's amazing right you showed up for yourself amazing Amanda, thanks for asking. First question, are you able to guide us as to how to choose between private and group? Amanda, great question. So I have people who do both. Uh, private is like really designed to you, custom tailored to you. There's an intake form where you answer a bunch of questions. I design it specifically to you. So it's 45 minutes of time just between you and I. In the group, it's, you know, it's a larger forum. But the benefit of the group is that you're hearing everybody's questions. You see you're not alone. You learn from things that you didn't even know were questions for you. You have access to a ton of resources all the time. And it's, you know, so there, there you go. <laughs> um, keep thinking every binge is my last binge. Whenever I get an urge, it feels like it's never going to go. Okay, but remember, and this is for everybody here, an urge is just a feeling. It's just a feeling of desire in the body. It's just an emotion. Okay, and if you're eating adequately, then you know that those feelings don't come from hunger. And so then you can breathe and everybody can try it right now. You just put your hands on your heart and breathe. I'm feeling desire and that's okay. It's just a feeling in the body. And emotions, energy plus motion, they're meant to move through you. So when you have that urge, that feeling of desire, you can just breathe, I'm safe. Nothing's gone wrong. I've eaten adequately. I'm okay. And it's going to move. And when it moves, everything I want is on the other side. And Mariam, you don't need to say, oh, this is going to be my last binge. You don't need to make proclamations. None of that. It's just one meal, one urge at a time. And then celebrate. And notice how great you feel. But you have to eat adequately. That's big. So if you're not eating adequately, that could be getting in your way. Um, is there, are there testimonial links? About, oh yes, my, my website, the, 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 you can see 
tons and tons and tons of testimonials are there. Yes. When I get the urge, I don't know what to do. I just gave you lots of things to do, <laughs> but you got to make sure you're eating adequately. Um, and uh, there's so many things people say, feeling uncomfortable. Yeah, it's not comfortable having an urge and letting it move through you, but it's productive discomfort. Binging is destructive discomfort. Nobody's ever binged and thought, oh, I'm so glad that happened. And nobody's not binged and thought, why didn't I binge? I wish I had. So just remember that. It's the best kind of discomfort, letting that urge move through you. And the book changed my life. Oh, it's not my book. It's Catherine's, but I will give her that message. And yes, it's changed so many people's lives. How to stop eating when you're with your friends and the tables are full of food. It's like what you can eat, whatever. Well, Paula, again, you eat adequately and then you can start making eye contact with people. You can, you can notice other things like the connection with your friends, connection with your family. And also you can say, oh, good. This is a chance to change my brain. I've already eaten an adequate meal and now I'm gonna go in for that productive discomfort. You could step away from the table, go to the bathroom, take a deep breath, look at yourself in the mirror, breathe. I'm feeling some desire and that's okay. Those are all kinds of things we work on in the group, okay? Future self, designing it beforehand. I, lots of things I can help you with. Yulia, are there sometimes chance to see Kath? Catherine doesn't do calls, so no, she doesn't do calls. You can see her for her Instagram live, so. Um, Leslie said, what do you move on to after success or not? This lifestyle has taken up so much time. I don't know what to do with myself. What a great problem to have, Leslie, right? It's what, can, what do I get to do with my life now? It's a very wonderful problem to have. And the thing is, as your brain recalibrates, as you start getting your brain back over time, in the beginning, it can feel awkward and scary and even like a grief, a loss, because we're so wedded to this pattern in so many ways, but as it starts to move away from you, you start to feel unstoppable. It's like when you're getting more and more and more of your brain back, you start to realize, wow, I can start focusing on things and actually explore what I love. And yes, you're, you're probably not interested in previous hobbies, so you have to get reconnected with yourself, which is a beautiful thing, and I help a lot of my clients with that. And I too live alone. And I, though I do have a child, she's off to college. And so I really understand. And it's really finding out who you are now, which is a beautiful thing. Yeah, Miriam, it, 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 this is not about weight loss. When you stop binging, if you have weight to lose, slowly it goes down. But this is not a weight loss program. And it's about eating adequately. And so, Miriam, there you are. That is very, very clear that if you, are, if you are fixated on weight loss, you, will con it, it's, you can't diet and stop binging at the same time. You just can't. It's eat adequately, then allow urges in between. And so the point is that when you're truly eating adequately and consistently, your body is very happy and it starts to go where it needs to go. Um, so adequate eating is eating foods you love that love you back until you feel sated and then allowing urges in between. Um, and the reason you feel low after binge eating, and this is true for everyone, binge brain is real. It doesn't just affect you physically in the stomach, it affects your brain. It alters your brain chemistry, it alters your neurochemistry, it leads to depression, anxiety, all kinds of inflammation. So it, a couple of days binge free and all of a sudden you feel completely different, I promise. Let me say thank you. Um, and so that feeling, I don't want to try, clearly you do. You're here, Miriam. You've emailed me before, so clearly you do. Thank you for such a positive approach. Oh, Yulia, it's my pleasure. Believe me, it's enough suffering. Everybody can be free of this, I promise you. If I can be free, anybody can be free. Really, really, it's true. Um, Yes, now that Leslie said, discover new interests, a positive swing. Yes, Leslie, it's the best problem to have. It's like, oh, what do I want to do with my life now? I'm unstoppable. What can I do with my time? What would feel great? Did I have a weight problem? And if so, through this, did you lose the weight? I know focusing on the weight isn't helpful. So, uh, Linda, yes and no. I mean, I was never obese, but I definitely... Uh, 
I, my, I weight spiraled. And, you know, from the time I was 11 until I freed from, I was free from this problem, my weight would go up and down, up and down, yo-yo dieting, binge eating, anorexia, the whole range of everything. And the last time around, after all the inflammation and so much damage to my body, I was carrying a lot of extra weight and the weight did not come off quickly. We're talking like a year, very, very, very slowly. However, however, I never think about it anymore. And I never think about food anymore. And I never worry about it anymore. And it's stable and consistent because I just eat adequately and get on with my life. So the thing is, I always say we put weight on the shelf because what matters most are the non-weight benefits. And you have to make it your job, everyone, to celebrate those non-weight benefits. Energy, integrity, mood, better brain chemistry, better digestion, more present, more space to think about hobbies, as Leslie was talking about. All of those things that you get back, you get those today, you get them all the way through, and you get them long after you're in your dream body, whatever that is. But I assure you, we have all been in a situation where we've lost weight and we've still been miserable because we made it all about the weight. That's not what this is about. This is about reclaiming your life. Mariam, my pleasure. Uh, la, 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 la. How can I stop binge eating and lose weight? Well, I just said it. <laughs> it's just math. Remember, binges are thousands and thousands and thousands of calories. Eating adequately is not about gorging. Eating adequately is about truly nourishing yourself until you're full and then not binging in between, not overeating in between. It's about meals and then allowing urges in between. And slowly, slowly, the weight comes off if you have weight to lose, slowly. And again, it's not tricky. It's a little messy figuring out your formula, but the thing is it's so freeing, it's so empowering. It's a wonderful thing to finally own this is how I eat. This is a way of eating that works for me. Not according to this book, not according to a trend, but me in my body, because no one else is in your body. So no one else knows. So I love your energy. I truly appreciate it. I see this. Uh, Linda, the, the bottom line is if you make it about the weight, it's you people, you stay in the struggle. Okay. And I was carrying 50, 60 extra pounds. And so it, I was very uh, physically uncomfortable. And I had to make it not about the weight anymore. That doesn't mean it goes away. It's an and. So it's not like you wake up every day and you think, I don't care about my weight anymore. It's you think about it and then you go, and I'm healing. And today I have energy. And I slept better last night. And I'm learning about my body. And I kept my promise to myself and I'm in my integrity. So it's a both and for sure. Is there any support during the week with group coaching? Can group members interact? Yes, there is a forum. And so people do interact with each other on the forum all week long, anytime. And you can get written coaching anytime on the forum. So yes. Could you name a couple of things that really helped you, my experience? Well, I've talked a lot about that in the podcast. Um, we're almost at time. But as I said, it was giving up restriction altogether, eating adequately, letting it be messy, putting weight over here being in the body I was in, loving myself through, letting go of perfection as the standard. So those were big things, Amy. Yeah. Amy, what if you need to lose weight for health reasons? They will. Yeah. But again, Amy, when you stop binging, your health improves immediately and you will eventually lose weight, I promise. But losing it rapidly is never sustainable and is what gets us into trouble in the first place. And so, again, restriction equals binging equals inflammation equals all kinds of health conditions versus, and Amy, I work with lots of people who have health conditions and they find a formula that loves them back because food that loves you back helps with fatty liver, diabetes. Uh, I have people who have autoimmune conditions, all kinds of things. I have my own health issues. I eat in a very specific way. But I don't think of it as deprivation because eating in this way keeps me healthy and doesn't deprive me of the health outcomes that I need in order to be alive. So I, I hope that answers. Mary, I'm sure people who constantly come around me. Uh -huh. Right. But again, it's not about eating anything and everything, Mary. So and you can tell them I'm healing or you can you can ignore them a little bit. But at the supply and late. 
forgot to find difference. A replay. Yes, we will be we will be uh, hosting it. Yes. I have a podcast of my own. I do not. I just guest on Catherine's podcast sometimes. I'm on the podcast usually once a month. Love the idea of a forum. Is this a place that group members can continue the conversation? Yes, Linda, absolutely. You can go on the forum as much as you want. That's what it's there for. Do you find people have more success with group or individual? Great question. And again, it's, it's very unique to each person. Just like you have your own formula for eating, it's the same with coaching. So some people do both. I have a few people who do one-on-ones with me from time to time, and then they are on the group every week, or they'll do uh, a, an occasional one-to-one in addition to the group, or just the group, or just the one-to-one. It's whatever, whatever goes. Yes, I knew. Replay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure, Claudette. I'm good. I'm a New Yorker. I think quickly. What can I say? <laughs> so we're just about at time. Are there any final questions? Um, it's really, really, really lovely to all of you. I, it's so lovely to meet all of you. I'm so glad that you came. Um, I'm just going to put the group link here again for all of you interested. There is not a Facebook group. Um, it is a private forum that is part of the Brain Over Binge group page, which is tied to the Brain Over Binge page because it's completely private. So uh, that's how we keep it. And, and, but the forum is very interactive and it's available to you 24 seven. What's the commitment in the group coaching timeframe? Yes, it's month to month. You sign up and it's automatic renewal, but you can cancel. No further obligation. So if you, if you only want it for a month, then you can cancel after a month. See if you want it longer, that's up, totally up to you. But yes, you can try it for a month and see. And what's a special link for folks who own the course? It's the same link, Amy. It's just brainoverbinge.com forward slash group. But if you already own the course, then you get it for the other price. And and I would love to see you all tomorrow. We will be there tomorrow, 10 a.m. So hope to see some of you there. And and again, I will be doing this once once a month. So at the end of the month. So my next Saturday session, I think, is July 30th. And just thank you to all of you. And really go you. Let me get my bell. And just ring it for all of you. Woohoo! You came to the call. Go you. So thank you so much for being here. And it's lovely to see you all. And I'll see you all soon in some way. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.